Hey guys, if you're new to my channel, my name's Matt, and I talk about everything that matters to you and to most people, which is usually finance, travel, random topics, and conspiracy theories. So in this video, we're actually going to talk about the seven benefits of owning a rental property and why you'd want to own a rental property. Okay. So the reason one being why you'd want to own a rental property is going to be that rental properties provide a strong investment with lower volatility, meaning that like unlike the stock market, when you're investing in the stock market, you're going to have highs and lows in your portfolio. Whereas with real estate, no matter what the pricing goes up or down, your cash flow still comes in. That's what makes real estate a really good investment when it comes to investing over the stock market, right? Now, there are some advantages to the stock market. I'll talk about those in a future video. But in the meantime, reason one for owning real estate is going to be that it's less volatile compared to the stock market. And you can even say crypto for that matter as well. So reason two, why you'd want to own real estate, uh, or rental properties, uh, is going to be the, the tax benefit guys. The tax benefit of owning real estate is just, it's, it's, it's humongous guys. You can literally write off everything with a rental property. It's insane. You can write off the roof. You can write off the, the cabinets, the countertops, the kitchen, the, the, the bathrooms, the carpet you put into the floors, the, the interior doors, you can put in all new windows and paint guys. And you can literally write up all of that stuff in on your tax return guys, when it comes to rental properties. So rental properties is a really good benefit to incorporate into your portfolio. And if you want to have some stocks, go for it. But I still think that like, if you, if you have a business, right. And you're making a lot of money on, you know, in a different industry, well, you need to shield your income. And the best way to shield your income is going to be through rental properties, guys. That's the best way you're going to shield your income is using real estate's tax advantages to shield your rental income and your earned income. Okay, guys. So another – that was reason two. Another reason we're going to talk about why you'd want to own rental properties um, is the passive income aspect to it, right? Now, if you own rental properties, you'll know, as well as I do, uh, I have some rental properties, that owning rental properties isn't really passive, but it's not full-time. It's more of a part-time, it's more of a, I'd call it semi-passive, semi right, uh, on what you'd want to, to call it as far as income goes. So it's semi-passive income. It's a great way to, you know, not work as hard, um, you know, if you just want to sit back and maintain the portfolio, it's a great way to generate some semi-passive income, um, especially going into your retire years, because that's pretty much where everyone wants to have that rental income, right? Is to be able to retire early, you know, and live a, you know, semi-passive lifestyle versus the nine to five. We all know the nine to five <clears throat> is, uh, it's 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 just it has its benefits too, but it's not as advantageous as owning rental properties will be. So reason four um, why you'd want to own a rental property is going to be that rental properties appreciate over time, guys, meaning that over time, your rental portfolio is going to go up in value. So if you buy a house that's $100,000 and that house ends up appreciating by 25% or 30%, in a you know seven ten year span, well that hundred thousand dollar property now goes up to one hundred and thirty, hundred and forty thousand dollars in in value of equity, right? Not to mention you've been paying that hundred thousand uh, dollars of house down, or you may not even have a mortgage on that property, right? You may own the house free and clear, and that's the case. Then you just gained a large amount of capital gains on your property that you can borrow against tax free because the other benefit that I'm going to briefly touch on is that 
the benefit of your properties appreciating is that you can actually borrow against your properties tax free. So again, this is this is this is reason number four why you want to own rental properties is that they appreciate over time and you get value out of them, right? So when you're when you're also uh, talking about the reasons, the seven reasons why you want to buy rental properties is reason five is going to be essentially renting out your home gives you flexible returns, meaning that you know you can rent out the properties and travel and do what you want to do while you're owning the rental properties. You're not stuck in a geographical location. You rent the properties out, you put a tenant in there, they, it cash flows to you a little bit every month, and then you can travel and do what you want to do. That's the whole name of the game, guys, is investing in properties, and which is going to allow you to be able to do things that you want to do when you want to do them, okay? That's the whole point of owning rental properties, right? We're trying to mitigate as much work as possible while trying to generate income off of these properties, guys, at the end of the day. That's what we're trying to do when we start talking about owning rental properties, right? So that's number five. It's just flexible returns based off you traveling and doing what you want to do when you want to do it. Freedom, I call it. <laughs> um, so yeah, guys, uh, reason six is, uh, you know, a well-loved rental is a well-kept rental, guys. So essentially, you know, if you maintain your property over time, you will experience tenants wanting to stay there for a long time. So when tenants want to stay there for a long time, you end up creating very stable cash flow, very stable ROIs on the property. Because we all know if you're a landlord or if you have rental properties, we all know that essentially when you have turnovers, it wipes out three, four weeks of, you know, a whole month essentially, sometimes two of cash flow. So you want to make sure you're generating cash flow, but you're also putting good tenants in there that want to stay a while. So it makes the property more stable in the long run, right? And that's what you always want to do. And so that was reason six, guys, right? So just maintaining your property allows you to keep good tenants, which is going to make you make you have stable ROI uh, throughout the lifespan of the rental property, and then reason seven um, will essentially be renting. Renting gives you control over your asset, meaning that once you rent out the property, you essentially are controlling the asset while making money off the asset. Right. So if you live in the property, you're essentially going to be uh, paying a liability every month. Whereas if you rent the property out, you're now covering the mortgage on the property as well as you know stabilizing the property and generating a return monthly on the property. So that's a good uh, thing to do, guys, when you're investing. I think that the, the, the best reason, and it's not on this list, this is going to be a bonus uh, point. So we'll call this number eight on the list of why you'd want to own rental properties is that unlike the stock market guys, you can actually borrow against the properties, right? In a cash out refi, you can borrow against the properties, which is a non-taxable event because you don't pay tax on a loan. In combination, you can actually borrow money to purchase the properties, right? Usually, it's 75% LTV. So if you bring down a 25% down payment, you can borrow the other 75% and buy the property, giving you ownership. You can't do that with stocks. You can't do that really with crypto, you have to buy it outright, and then you can borrow against it, right? But what I like about real estate is, is that if you don't have a lot of money or you're you're limited on your liquidity, you can always leverage your liquidity to borrow to buy the properties, guys, to help you scale and help you retire early, right? So it's I would say reason eight is going to be the ability to be able to get into a rental property, leverage with, you know, your 20, 25% down payment and the bank's, you know, 75 to 80% leverage 
to buy that property you want to buy to help you get closer to financial freedom. I think that's the best and most practical solution when it comes to investing compared to the other asset classes, not knocking the other asset classes. I just think that, that this is probably going to be the, the, I would say the, the best one as far as scalability and you'll get an, a quicker ROI on a rental property than you will with owning, let's just say, you know, stocks, stocks take a lot to appreciate and your art, and you have to put all of your, you have to buy the stocks, right? You can't leverage to buy the stocks. Whereas real estate, you can actually leverage to buy them, to buy your rental properties. And then once you leverage to buy the rental properties, then you're able to purchase them and then you improve them. They go up in value and then you borrow against them in a cash out refi. So if that property goes up by, you know, 30, 40%, then you can borrow against that property and take out some tax-free money, guys. Because remember, you don't get taxed on loans. So uh, it's a good it's a good way to, to scale up if you're a new investor or even an experienced investor, still do it because it's foolproof, guys. I mean, really, it is. I mean, you buy the property, you stabilize the prop, buy, you stabilize the property by putting a tenant in there, and then you essentially just make sure that the tenant the rent is servicing the debt every month and then slowly but surely your property is going up in value. Meanwhile, your mortgage is being paid down by the tenant. And then after a while you can refi cash out that property or just pay it completely off, which that's a whole nother topic. But yeah, guys, so this is a seven reasons why you'd want to, to buy a rental property. Again, we're going to re- we're going to recap real quick before I end the video. So reason one is going to be uh, single family rental properties are a strong investment against, uh, against volatility, meaning that if the values go down, it doesn't really affect your cash flow as much. Well, like if, you're, if your portfolio goes down in the stock market or your portfolio goes down in crypto, you're losing, you're losing massive amounts of gains. You're losing massive amounts of your net worth, guys. So reason two of why you'd want to get into rental properties for recap there are tax benefits to owning rental properties. I listed that below. Again, in, summariz- in summarization, buying rental properties is going to give you a plethora of, of write-offs, roof, kitchen, bathrooms, paint, windows, doors, all that good stuff, flooring, all that you can write off against your earned income or against your rental income. So reason three is rental properties are passive, semi-passive income. Uh, which is true compared to a nine to five job, nine to five job, you're going in eight to 10 hours a day. Whereas if you are owning rental properties, you may only be working an hour a day or five hours a week. It just depends on your schedule and how many rental properties you have. And if you have management in place or not. Uh, Reason four is going to be that rental properties are appreciated over time. They appreciate over time. Typically real estate doubles every 10 to 15 years statistically. So, uh, that's a benefit right there. And you can, like I said, borrow against that new capital gains if you would like to. A reason five is renting out your home gives you flexibility on returns, meaning that you can just rent out the property, cash flow it and travel and live your best life. Like most people want to do. And then reason six is a well-loved rental property is a well-kept home, meaning that your tenants, if as long as you take care of the properties, your properties are going to take care of you. Your tenants are going to stay in place and they're going to want to stay there and pay you every month and be on time, which is a win-win for you because you can avoid those turnovers, which can get nasty and evictions. And reason seven is renting out the property uh, gives you control over your asset, meaning that you control the asset while the tenant pays down the debt, which is, again, a major benefit, increasing your net worth and allowing you to be able to limit your liabilities because you have a tenant in place. Because a house that you pay for and live in every month is a liability, whereas a house that you rent out to a tenant and cash flow every month is an asset. If it pays you, it's an asset. If it's money going out, it's a liability. Remember that, guys. So, and then I remember I added re, uh, reason eight is a bonus because you can borrow money to buy the assets. You can borrow the money to buy the assets at 75% loan to value with a bank. You can't do that in the stock market and you can't do that with crypto, guys. Remember that. 
So when next time someone tells you, well, I'll just invest in the stock market or I'll invest in crypto, the, again, they have their benefits. But if you're not sitting like cash rich, then you probably should look at buying rental properties because that's the, I think the number one, I think 90% of all millionaires are millionaires because of real estate. Remember that, guys. So before someone knocks buying real estate, Remember this, guys. Real estate allows you to be able to take care of you, your family, your loved ones, and in the long run will allow you to have absolute freedom, which is what we want in life, guys, is absolute freedom. So again, the bonus eight was you can borrow against it. You can borrow money to buy it. Uh, It's 75% loan to value. Can't do that with other types of assets. So... Entry point is easier in real estate compared to buying Bitcoin or buying, you know, blue chip stocks. And the ROI in the stock market takes a lot longer. With rental properties, you can start cash flowing within six months. With borrowed debt, you can borrow money, buy the property, fix it up, and then put a tenant in place and cash flow within four to six months. You can't do that with stocks. It takes too long, guys. So... Anyways, uh, give me a follow, a like, subscribe to my channel, guys, if, you, if you're new. I'm trying to grow my channel a lot, and uh, I'd appreciate it if you guys could give me a, uh, you know, a subscription. And I also have my Patreon down below in the links. If you guys can, you know, if you guys want, it's $9 a month. And it supports the channel, helps me pump out content every single day. And if you don't want to spend $9, I also have a link for Buy Me a Coffee. It's 5 bucks. It helps the channel, guys. So I appreciate it very much. And uh, yeah, subscribe if you haven't already. Like, follow, share. I appreciate it. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.